What is up my friends and welcome back to another video. So this video is gonna be a little more technical. Um, I know you guys ask a lot of questions about like certain, how to do certain things. So I'm gonna start answering some of those. Obviously I can make cook up videos for the rest of my life. But if you guys, I, like I wanna start teaching you guys and giving you like some more value through the content um, as opposed to just watching me make beats. So this one is gonna be focusing on 808s. I get a lot of people asking me, how can you make your 808s glide? Um, so it's gonna be a pretty quick tutorial. Uh, it's actually a really simple concept, so it shouldn't take you that long to figure it out. Um, but once you do, you put that sauce on your beats. So without further ado, let's get in to this project. All right, so we're in one of my projects that I was working on. Um, I'm actually gonna show you guys two ways. The first one I'll show you is with the ESX24 sampler, since that's probably more relevant to Logic users. And then I will show you in contact how to get uh, the glide all right so i'll show you the loop um, that we've got going on focus on this note right here because that's the one that i've got the glide on um, and then i'll like change the loop so we can like really target that area but so yeah listen for the glide at this note here Okay, so you could hear the glide where it went from this note instead of just changing like without a glide, just like any of these notes did. Um, it like basically like swept up to that note. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get that in the ESX24 sampler. Um, so let me mute, I'm gonna mute like the, uh, the instruments I've got so we can just hear the percussion and the 808. So you're gonna open up the ESX24 sampler. This is what it will look like. Um, if you don't know how to get samples in here, all you have to do is basically press edit and then you grab like whatever 808 sample you want. I mean, you can do it with drums too. Just click and drag it onto this screen and then it will transpose to your keyboard. So basically to get the glide. Oh, and another thing, I always put distortion on my 808. So this is just stock. So that's why you hear it sounds so like grungy. It just adds some highs and some grit to your 808s. Um, so here you're going to press legato. Actually, let me just open up another track with ESX that doesn't have anything on it. Create. Okay. So by default, poly is selected. Um, this is what it's going to look like all together. All right. So like I said, you're going to hit edit, drag your sample in there. It'll be transposed to your keyboard. Um, and then what you're going to do, we'll go back into the original one. What you're going to do is press legato. And then here's where you'll see glide. Um, and according to like how fast you want the glide to happen, usually you'll adjust it according to the BPM of the track. This is what you're going to mess with. So let's single out where that glide is. Remember, we've got it right here. So this is where we're going to be looping right now. Let me zoom in on here for you guys. So let's just hear that. All right, um, so for example, if I make this longer, you're gonna hear that it'll just like take longer to get to that note. See, it didn't even hit the note because it was too long and that's just like a short note up there. So you're gonna wanna find that sweet spot. I think I was around like 130, 142, something like that. Yeah. And honestly, that's it. Um, the only other thing that I changed in here is I turned the volume all the way up. Um, I don't really use the ESX sampler. I usually use contact just because every once in a while I have like an issue where like it'll just really distort whatever sample I, I have in here. I don't know if that's like a glitch or whatever, but it happens with me and I know, I know it's happened to some other people I've talked to too. Um, but honestly, that is all you have to do to get your glides in the ESX24 sampler. Simple as that. So like I said, just press legato and then um, you can turn your volume up if you want your 808 to hit a little harder and then just mess with the glide according to your BPM or you, know, you could also check out, I'll show you guys. See, I dragged this out and I wanted it to glide back down to the bottom note. All you have to do is just extend it. So basically you're just pasting a note over the note that you want it to glide. Um, you don't have to you know, make your notes like that. Then it'll just jump to the note without a glide. You want 
you want the note that's going to glide to overlap the note you want it to glide from. Hopefully that makes sense. So you hear it glide, it went, it did a glide up to the note and then did another glide back down to that note. You can make it a little bit longer. It should still work. So it's as simple as that, my friends. Like I said, it's a simple concept that can add some sauce to your beats. Um, so that's it for the ESX 24. Now let's get into contact. So I'm gonna mute this one we've got here. Now we've got the 808 and contact. So it's the same, I, I literally just copied and pasted it for the sake of this tutorial. Um, so this is the one that we've got in contact so we can hear that one as well. I personally think that the ADO, the glides in contact sound better than the ESX24. I think it's a little more uh, like dramatic and clear, but that just could be me. Um, so let's get into contact. All right, so when you open contact, this is what you're gonna see, um, just this. So what you're gonna wanna hit is this little wrench over here. Um, you won't see that at first. This is what you will see right when you open this. So what you're gonna do is press script editor, and then you're gonna go over to presets. Go to factory, down to performance, and you're gonna click unisono portamento. That's what's gonna give you the glide. So next you're gonna go over to here where it says mode, and drag that all the way up until it goes to auto. And then time, this knob here is the same exact thing as the glide uh, knob was in the ESX. This is what's gonna either make your glide shorter or longer. Um, so for mine, the BPM that I've got, I found that I think about 35 or so is what I want. Because I can't make that smaller. But let's hear it with it at 35. Yeah, so that's perfect, I would say, for that short of a note. So just for the sake of showing you, um, if I raise it, it's gonna take longer to get to the note. Um, it probably won't even get to it because it's just too long for that, but you'll hear that it's a slower glide the higher you go. See, it didn't even glide to it. Let me just drag this out and see if it'll do it. See, it just doesn't get to it because it's too short of a note. But anyways, my point is, this is the time that it takes to hit that glide, hit the note that you're gliding to. Um, so same concept as the ESX, just adjust it um, until you get that sound that you're going for. So if I made it shorter, say I was at 35, let's say I make it at 30, see if there's a difference. Yeah, so you could still hardly hear it, but it was super fast. Um, so 35 is kind of that sweet spot for this BPM and that note that I'm trying to get to. Um, same thing, I got a distortion on my 808. Um, really quick, the tone will just give you like a grittier sound, kind of gives you more highs. But you tend, the higher you go, the t you tend to lose a little more lows. Um, so that's about all I'll do just to give my 808 some highs. You can hear it on a phone, you can hear it on your laptop speakers. Ooh, that, that got bright. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it. That's how you make your glides in uh, both the ESX24 and uh, Contact. So hopefully you guys learned from that. Um, take it, go experiment with it, uh, experiment with it on your own. And you know, try even just opening up a project that you've already got an 808 in. And uh, if you've got any high notes, you can experiment gliding to them if you want. Um, but yeah, you could definitely make some really cool stuff with glides on your 808s. Um, and it's really as simple as that. You've just got to mess with the timing until you, you hit the sweet spot. So hopefully you guys took something away from that tutorial. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. And I'll be giving you guys content like this, uh, you know, every once in a while um, as it's demanded. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.